it's Tammy with Shrinking Violet DS and today is Tuesday the I think it's the 23rd of April it's either the 23rd or the 24th as usual I have no idea um, just a quick update today don't have a whole lot to say uh, I will start with my spiel that's always a good place to start I had traditional duodenal switch surgery on March 9 of 2017 I started my pre-op diet on February 19th of 2017 at 260 pounds. My surgery weight on March 9th of 2017 was 248 pounds. I had my surgery at Mexicali Bariatric Clinic in Mexicali, Mexico, and it was fabulous. Best, best thing I've ever done for my body. Um, I also had plastics on January 22nd of 2019 with Dr. Francisco Salceda in Monterey, Mexico. Also very good. Uh, my plastics recovery is going well. I have no scabs left, so now we're just working on scars. Um, my seromas are pretty much gone. I have one little tiny one left in my arm. It's about the size of a macadamia nut, and that's it. Um, those started going away very quickly once I started getting the, the um, lymphatic drainage massage but I'm glad I waited to get the lymphatic drainage massage until I did um, I just think that you know leaving your your incisions alone and not manipulating them much until they're pretty much healed for the most part is a good thing so um, yeah and you know I had worn my compression um, pretty much as I was supposed to except when I my incisions got very wet and then I would take it off for a while um, but I don't think that but my seromas had started before I started doing that with my incisions so I do not think that the two are related I think it's just one of those things some people get them some people don't um, you know could have just been an extra little bit of damage around that area or maybe that's where he stuck in the the um, the scalpel further you you never know it just for some reason fluid decided to collect in that area and so no big deal um, <laughs> what else uh, my weight now I forgot to give that my spiel my current weight today was 124.6 um, which is fine as you know I've been right around 120 for a long time and um, I'm PMSing and retaining water right now, so that's pretty normal, 124. And even if it was not water weight, I'm still fine with it. I was thinking for a while I wanted to get back to 130. I don't think I do. I think I'm pretty happy here between 120 and 125. Um, 120 is good. I don't like being under 120. I don't think I looked good there. Um... Who knows, I may gain a little weight when I start working out, which is gonna be in about a month. I found a Pilates studio in my village and um, they offer Pilates bar and spin. I won't do the spin because I don't want the cardio because I don't wanna lose weight. Uh, so I'm gonna do Pilates mostly and if I feel like it, I'll do bar. So that'll be good. I definitely need some muscle tone for sure. Especially in my bum. It's pretty saggy. Um, it's Brian. Brian's doing great with his VSG recovery. Uh, he is in the full liquid stage now. And he will be there until next Monday. Um, he is, of course, dying to get to the mushy food stage, as we all were. <laughs> but he's doing really well. Um, he is down to 220. Point six, and can't remember what his surgery weight was. I think it was like 235. And his uh, weight when he started his pre-op diet was, um, and his pre-op diet was voluntary. He didn't have to do one. But he just started, you know, losing um, after Christmas. And when he started that, it was about 250. So he's doing really well. 30 pounds down from his high and 15 pounds down from surgery and his surgery date was april 9. so oh today's is two weeks wow 
seems like longer than two weeks ago. To him, it seems like forever. <laughs> and I understand that because I remember being where he is in this process. And that first month just seems to drag by when you can't actually eat normal food. But he has not had any problems whatsoever getting in fluids um, or protein. Uh, he's good with the isopyr clears, and which I could not do. He has a funny reaction to the um, Iconic and the Premier Protein shakes. They, it's like they plunge his blood sugar down for some reason. So I'm gonna take a look and see what the difference is between those and the Isopure, because I also had some Isopure unflavored powder that I made a shake for him with, and that was okay too. So there's something in the Isopure that's different than what are in those two um, others, the Premier and the Iconic. So I'll be drinking all the Premier and Iconic. Fortunately, I like them both. And I ordered him some uh, Isopure chocolate powder. So we'll start making his shakes with that. Um, he's been drinking a lot of broth, a little bit of Bloody Mary mix so that he's got some vegetable nutrients in there. A um, little bit of fruit juice because he needs the carbs in order to keep his brain going. He's got a, a pretty um, mentally intense career and so yeah he's <laughs> he needs that fructose glucose <laughs> for his brain power. Um, but other than that, he's doing really well. His incisions are healing nicely. His drain site has stopped draining. He doesn't have to cover that anymore. He looks good. And he's just plowing through all of his clothes. He's already got a pile of clothes that don't fit him anymore. But like many of us, he had a closet full of clothes in various sizes. So he is able to shop his closet for probably another couple sizes. And then he's going to have to go buying clothes. So that's good. It's very exciting for him. I don't think I have anything else. I'm headed off to lunch. I'm at a sushi place here in Portland called Mio Sushi, which is one of my favorites. I have three favorite sushi places. Well, four. Yoko's, but they're only open uh, for dinner. And so I rarely go there because it's inconvenient for me. It's in Portland itself, and I'm south of Portland. Um, Mio Sushi, which is open for lunch and dinner. So I like that one. And uh, Tara Sushi, which is in Lake Oswego, where I live. And they're open for lunch and dinner. They are fabulous. And they've only been around for two months. Um, if you're in the area, I highly recommend it. And for those of you who low carb, they have two riceless sushi rolls. And he's really inventive. I'm sure he could make more. And they, um, with their sashimi and nigiri, they have what they call Tadas tasting style, where he kind of dresses it um, differently than just plain sashimi or plain nigiri. And that is delicious. And then uh, the other one that I like is Sinju, um, which has, I think, three um, restaurants around town and one that's down near me. So, and they're open from 11 o'clock on. They're the only one that's open all day. The others are open, you know, 11.30 to 2.30 or 11 to 2.30 and then they close and they open again at 4.30. Um, so, uh, Sinju is in the shopping center where I go quite a bit. So, I like that one. I hit that one a lot. But this one is near my uh, hairdresser and I'm off to get my hair done in about an hour and a half. So, I thought I'd have some sushi first and then go do that and then get my massage. I will probably not come to you next week. I will be traveling down to San Diego area to visit friends. Um, if I get a chance, I, I will, but I sincerely doubt it. I think I'm going to be pretty busy while I'm down there. Um, so I will see you week after next. I hope all of you who celebrate Easter had a lovely Easter and have a great week. Couple of weeks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.